Hi, I'm Clary, an award-winning Italian designer based in Manchester, UK, where I run my design practice, Studio Print My Soul. In this clip, you will learn how to design your very own pattern that reflects your brand look and feel. One of my clients, a large Italian clothing brand, contacted me to find a creative solution to renovate their sales point. My approach to this renovation was to introduce a fun, bold pattern on the walls and windows of their well-known chain stores. Follow along to create a perfect pattern tailored for your business. Learn how to leverage Adobe Stock ready-made vector assets and export the design to become a tangible object. To start, click on Create New. To design a seamless pattern tile, we need a square artboard. I'm going to set both width and height to 100 pixels. Then, name the file and click on Create to open the new artboard. You can create a pattern using any graphic elements you want, but if you're not sure, or if drawing vectors is not part of your skill set, don't worry. And let me show you how to leverage professional vector files present in your Adobe Stock library, ready for you to use without leaving Illustrator. Go to the window menu and select Libraries to bring up the Libraries panel. Here, all you have to do is to use the search bar to browse the library. Type a keyword that represents the elements you wish to incorporate in your pattern, for example, if you run a pizzeria, type the word pizza and you'll see many assets appearing below. I run a design business, so I'm going to use the keyword stationary. To display only vector files, click under the filters and tick vectors. This will allow you to display assets with a vector format. Once you find the file that matches your taste and your project, click on the little cart icon to license it and save it in your libraries. The file will be automatically placed in your current library folder. If you do not have access to the Adobe Stock library yet, don't worry. I have provided a file for you to follow along. So press Command O, that's Control O on Windows, and find the stationary.ai file provided in this video assets folder and open it. Now, let's select few items to create the pattern. Select the first item and hold on Shift to include multiple elements in one single selection. When you're done selecting your elements, press Command C to copy them navigate back to your file and press Command V to paste these items. Resize the graphic elements by dragging down one of the corners of the selection bounding box while holding Shift. Distribute the graphic elements on your tile, starting from the top. Then, move into the left edge, just like so. Leave the center empty for now, we will take care of it in the next steps. Now, we need to reflect the top part of the images that are hanging outside the edge inside. So let's select those items starting from the one sitting on the top, then right click to see the option menu, go to transfer, then move, and the move window will pop up. Let's move the items to the bottom edge. Insert a vertical move of 100 pixels, which is the size of our square tile, and then click on preview to check that they are in the right position. Click on copy to create a duplicate. Let's repeat the same action for this item on the left edge. On this side, I'm going to use the shortcut shift command M, that's shift control M on Windows and I'm going to move the object of 100 pixels horizontally, since I want to move the elements from left to right. Set the vertical move to zero and click on copy. Use the remaining elements to fill the central part of our pattern, and we're almost done. To create a perfect tile, now we need a bounding box. Click on the rectangle tool, click once on your pasteboard, input the same sizes as the artboard, 100 by 100 pixels, to create a perfect square of the same size of the tile, and click on OK. Let's align the square by going to the Properties Panels and Align to Artboard. Now center the square vertically and horizontally. Then go to the Layer Panel. Bring the shape to the very bottom of the layers. Click on the Color Fill and select None. Let's open the Swatches Panel and select all the items present on the artboard. Let's now drag them into the Swatches Panel. Now draw another rectangle and fill it with the new pattern. If you wish to create a color background, all you have to do is to create a duplicate of your square, place it on top of the square, which is acting like a bounding box, and pick a color. You can do so from the Layers panel by clicking on the square layer, dragging on this little plus icon to duplicate it. Double click on the field to give it a color. Once done, select all the elements and drag them into the Spotches panel again. If you want to save your pattern as an image, click on the artboard tool, click on the shape, fill with the pattern, and then export it using the PNG format. Use the shortcut Option Command E, that's Alt Control E on Windows, and you're done. Your pattern graphic is ready to be used on all your marketing materials. 
Now it's time for you to try out these techniques and design your pattern. Again, I'm Claudia from Prem My Soul, and I look forward to working with you in the next project to elevate your business communication strategy.